Welcome to Magic Moonlog. I am your host, Dawn Marie Franzen, and this is a weekly series looking at the astrological forecast. So sit back and relax, and let's see what the moon and stars will bring us. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Magic Moon Log. Man, I am telling you, I hope you guys have had a good Lita, midsummer, first day of summer, whatever you wanted to call it. I'm gonna say, summer has really been rearing its head. It has been so hot out the last couple of days. Uh, up here in New England, yeah, it's just been high 90s, and my lights just flickered. <laughs> that was just really weird. I don't know if you guys saw that it was a light in the next room over. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's been really hot out and it's been crazy. And we are keeping busy as usual on these weekends. Um, for instance, today, later on in the afternoon, we have another family kids birthday party to go to, which are always fun. And the last couple of weekends, it's just been gatherings for one thing or another. Last Saturday, we had Father's Day, of course, but then we also celebrated my parents' birthday, birthdays because they're five days apart. So all the delicious food and the cake, which is why I'm just gaining weight here because I love to eat and I cannot say no. And yeah, we not only had one cake, but we had two cakes and one was homemade and one was store-bought. And yes, I had a slice of both. And yes, they were both delicious. So, yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying your summer so far. Let's get on with our AstroCast for June 22 to 28. So, at 6.18 a.m. Saturday, which if you're listening to this at 7 o'clock when it comes out, or afterwards, of course, this event has already happened, but the moon and Jupiter quincunx. At 6.20, the moon and Venus are in opposition. At 8.01, the Sun and Pluto quincunx. At 12.37 p.m., the Moon and Mars trine. The Moon is in opposition with Mercury at 3.25. And then on Sunday, the Moon sextiles Saturn at 5.02 a.m. At 3.02 p.m., the Moon and Uranus trine. The moon sextiles Neptune at 11.05 and is void until 11.14 when it enters Aquarius. On Monday, the moon is in conjunction with Pluto at 1.50 a.m. The moon and sun quincunx at 4.57. The moon and Jupiter trine at 10.52. At 3 o'clock p.m., the moon and Venus quincunx. At 6.58, the moon squares off with Mars. And then on Tuesday, the moon and Mercury quincunx at 3.27 a.m. The moon squares off with Uranus at 6.30 p.m. and is void until 2.08 a.m. Wednesday when it enters Pisces. On Wednesday, the moon trines the sun at 11.26 a.m. Mercury trines Saturn at 2.10 p.m. At 2.27, the moon squares off with Jupiter. At 10.33, the moon trines Venus. On Thursday, the moon and Mars sextile at 12.26 a.m. The moon is in conjunction with Saturn at 10.57. At 2.11 p.m., the moon and Mercury trine. The moon and Uranus sextiles at 9.23. And then on Friday, the moon is in conjunction with Neptune at 4.45 a.m. and is void until 4.52 when it enters Aries. The moon sextiles Pluto at 7.18. The moon squares off with the sun at 5.53 p.m. and 
it enters its fourth quarter phase. At 6.03, the moon and Jupiter sextile. All right, I feel like the last couple of weeks has been really quick run-throughs of the Astrocast. Um, no big events happening this week, just the regular aspects. Uh, so <clears throat> during the weekend, you might experience an excess in emotions and you could struggle with ego. So be very careful about that. But you might find harmony and you'll find that, that it's easy to help those that are in need and focus on meditation this weekend, all right? So during the beginning of the week, you might wanna work on self-examination and you might experience eccentric behavior and impulsiveness. So during midweek, uh, let's see, you'll wanna make realistic decisions, okay, about your future. And you might come across some impracticality and nervousness, maybe about making these decisions about your future, okay? So towards the end of the week, you will rely on, you might rely on dependability. You may reach decisions. Uh, you might find yourself being creative. You may become distracted and you may experience enlightening discussions. All right, so. Magic Moon Log is sponsored by life-changing energy. They've got yoga outfits and all kinds of other clothing, jewelry, and healing tools. Take an online course. I took my course with Vicki Gold and am now a certified crystal and chakra healer. Please visit lifechangingenergy.com and use the promo code MAGIC7. That's magic with a K, number seven, for 7% off your purchase. And now back to the show. So, let's move on to the spell of the day and it's protect our children. So this is for June 23, which is Sunday. And the color of the day is amber and the incense of the day is almond. Here is a spell to protect our children from hate speech and crimes. Gather your coven or work alone. Bring your children's favorite stuffed animals and a package of confetti. Cast your circle. Set a chair in the center, and as you place each stuffed animal on the chair, speak the child's name and your intention to protect the child with divine love and blessings. Sprinkle confetti over the stuffed animals and say, let this confetti be blessed. Let it be strong. Let it touch our children with safety and strength. Let its blessed power protect our children wherever they go. Raise your phone and play the aria, O Isis and Osiris, if you can find it. It's a, pray it's a prayer of protection as sung by the high priest Sarastro in the opera, The Magic Flute. Find it on YouTube. That's what it says in here. Note that while Sarastro is blessing a marriage here, this prayer can protect us all. And that is written by Barbara Arninger. All right. So that'll be on Facebook. All right, now let's get on with the Everyday Spells card. And remember, we're still in love spells, so this is the desirability spell. You'll need one red candle, one patchouli incense, one clear quartz crystal. Perform this spell close to the full moon. Light the incense, then place your candle at the center of your altar and light it. Repeat this mantra three times. May I be seen and seen well today, with no harm to come my way. From this desire I seek, bring me energy at its high peak. Imagine the crystal pulling energy from the earth and burning through the flame of your candle. Blow out once done and carry your crystal for seven days. All right, and as usual, that would be on Facebook. Okay, now, Oracle time and I'm using the dragon, the 
dragon duck. All right, and while I am shuffling these cards, think about what it is you would like to know for this coming week. Especially, I mean, I know we don't have a lot of aspects going on, but if you have anything personal going on in your life, you know, things like that. All right, uh, let me just do... These cards seem to be sticking together a little bit. All right, let me pick the top card. It is the Aquamarine Dragon from Neptune. That's what it looks like. Okay. Uh, let's see. Aquamarine Dragon from Neptune. So, where is this lovely dragon? Page 82. I need to get better lighting over here, I swear. Jeez. This light over here is beautiful, especially in the different colors. I, get, I could put it on white. But then I would probably be too blinding over here too. Like you might not be able to see that good. All right, so this card enables you to access your deepest soul wisdom. Spirituality and wisdom are available to you. Develop your psychic abilities and receive ineffable soul knowledge. And this is what the card's about. Neptune is the watery planet of advanced spirituality and enlightenment. The aquamarine dragons, I don't know why I can't say that right, aquamarine <laughs> dragons from this illumined planet carry the light of the universe, which contains spiritual information and knowledge. They will approach us and ask us to tune into them so that they can download this light into our energy fields. This will enable us to take information and know how to apply it wisely. As these gentle dragons flow around us, they also help us to access more of our ineffable soul, knowledge, and wisdom, and pass it to others humbly, sincerely, and honestly. They have the ability to pour liquid light into us, which builds our crystalline light body more quickly and enables us to shine. They also enhance our psychic development by enabling our psychic chakras to open up more easily. We may find our subtle we may find our subtle knowing is heightened after encountering them. And then the guidance says, Aquamarine <laughs> dragons. I'm saying that for me because I was having a hard time saying it before. Aquamarine dragons from Neptune are water dragons. They will flow around you, surrounding you with their aquamarine energy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm having a hard time with that word, and it's just so funny. The aquamarine energy and awakening your psychic abilities. Connect with them often for each time you do, so they will light up more the keys and codes of your true essence. This will bring you soul contentment and a sense of your divine magnificent magnificence. <laughs> wow, what is wrong with my words today? Jeez. And you will experience higher levels of enlightenment and see your world and the universe through different eyes. Your guidance is to drink a glass of blessed water as you tune into these dragons. Then they will be able to touch you more profoundly. All right, woo, we got through it. All right, and that will also go on the, well, no, that won't go on the Facebook page, excuse me. I usually put those on TikTok. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, I do little snippets on my videos usually. There's a couple of different bonus ones, I guess you could say out there, but occasionally I will put like the everyday spells card or maybe even the spell of the week, but mostly I like to do the um, Oracle cards as well as like if there's any special events like full moons, birthday events, you know, coming into a new Zodiac season and everything like that. So, all right, everyone, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your day to spend the few moments with me. Um, and don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. TikTok is one of them that I just discussed. If you have access to the podcast platform, the links will be on the show notes. And if you follow along on YouTube, all the links will be in the description below. All right, everyone. So on that note, have a very magical, yes, you've got it, week. Bye. 
If you like this episode or show, please consider going over to Apple or Spotify to give me a rating and review. It will really help with the algorithm of the show. Share with your friends and follow me at Witch Magic on Instagram. You can also join us on the Witch Magic Facebook group. If you would like to support the show even more, you can check out my Patreon and Coffee pages and join the tier of your choosing and budget for extra perks as well as helping me maybe get a cup of tea. Thanks everyone.